Hello everyone, this is Rahul Sharma. I am going to give a presentation on a very important topic of ecology that is terrestrial ecosystem. To begin with, I would like to convey my gratitude to the Zoological Society of Assam for giving me an opportunity to participate in the wonderful initiative to impart online education to the undergraduate science students. Dear student friends, the learning outcomes of the presentation on terrestrial ecosystems are basic concept of ecosystems, types of ecosystems, terrestrial ecosystems, types of terrestrial ecosystems, biogeographic realms, and major terrestrial biomes. Before going to discuss about terrestrial ecosystem, we have to know what ecosystem is all about. The term ecosystem was proposed by A. Z. Tensley in the year 1935 and he defined it as the system resulting from the integration of all the living and non-living factors of the environment. E.P. Odom is perhaps one of the most influential ecologists of the 20th century in the elaboration and promotion of the ecosystem concept. The definition in his textbook entitled Fundamentals of Ecology 1971 is widely accepted and the definition is any unit that includes all of the organisms in a given area interacting with the physical environment so that a flow of energy leads to clearly defined trophic structure, biotic diversity, and material cycles within the system is an ecological system or ecosystem. If we analyze the definition of E.P. Odom, we will find that ecosystem includes all the organisms in a given area interacting with abiotics that is physical environment so that energy flow play a central role in defining other features like trophic structure, biotic diversity, material cycles of the ecosystem. In brief, Odom clearly indicated ecosystem as the study of structure and function of nature. Now, components of ecosystems. Ecosystems has two main components, biotic and abiotic. The biotic component includes all living organisms such as plants, animals, and microorganisms, whereas abiotic includes all the non-living chemical and physical elements present in the environment, sunlight, air, precipitation, minerals and soils, temperatures are some examples of abiotic components. Types of ecosystems. Ecosystems of the biosphere are broadly divided into two categories, natural ecosystems and artificial ecosystems. Natural ecosystem is consisting of two components, terrestrial ecosystems and aquatic ecosystems. Forests, deserts, grasslands, etc. are terrestrial ecosystems. Aquatic ecosystem is further divided into two groups, freshwater ecosystem and marine ecosystem. Freshwater ecosystem includes both lotic and lentic. Moving water like spring, streams or rivers are lotic and standing water like lake, pond, pools, swamp, etc. are lentic ecosystem. Marine ecosystem includes ocean, sea, or estuary, etc. Now, artificial ecosystem. Artificial ecosystem is also called man-made ecosystem. These are created and maintained by man. Cropland, aquarium, etc. fall under artificial ecosystem. Now, let us discuss about terrestrial ecosystem. A terrestrial ecosystem is a land-based community of organisms 
and the interactions of biotic and abiotic components in a given area. Terrestrial ecosystem occupies 28.26 percent that is about one fourth of the surface of the earth. The complexities of the terrestrial ecosystem are much greater than those of aquatic ecosystems. The type of terrestrial ecosystem found in a particular place is dependent on the temperature range, the average amount of precipitation received, the soil types, and amount of light it receives. Types of terrestrial ecosystems The terrestrial ecoregions of the world system recognizes six biogeographic realms and eight major terrestrial biome types. The biogeographic realms are large areas within which organisms have been evolving in relative isolation over long period. The biome represent major ecosystem types that are characterized by fairly similar climatic conditions and ecological communities. Now, please see the figure in the slide showing distribution of biogeographic realms. It appears that Palearctic realms basically include North Asia, Europe, north of the Himalayas, Africa, and northern and central part of Arabian Peninsula. Nearctic realms include North America down to the Mexican Plateau. Neotropical realms extend south from the Mexican deserts into South America. Ethiopian realms cover Africa south of the Himalayas. Oriental realms include Asia south of the Himalayas and Australia and associated islands come under Australian realms. Terrestrial biomes It has already been mentioned in the earlier slide that biome represent major ecosystem types that are characterized by fairly similar climatic conditions and ecological communities. Although there is some disagreement among scientists on how to divide up the biomes of the earth, yet most of them agree that there are eight major terrestrial biomes. These are tropical rainforest biome, savanna biome, desert biome, temperate shrubland biome, temperate forest biome, grassland biome, conifer forest biome, and tundra biome. In this slide, figure A shows the distribution of biome across the globe. Figure B shows the pattern of terrestrial biomes in relation to temperature and precipitation. In figure B, x-axis shows average annual temperature and y-axis shows average annual precipitation. It appears from the figure that the tropical rainforest biome shows high precipitation and desert biome shows low precipitation. On the other hand, the temperature in the desert biomes exhibit high, whereas the temperature of the tundra biome shows low. Tropical rainforest biome. These biomes are primarily restricted mostly along the equatorial belt having low variability in annual temperature combined with high levels of rainfall ranging from 200 to 225 cm per year. Tropical rainforest biomes are discontinuous patches of semi-evergreen and evergreen forest and the largest stresses can be found in the Amazon and Congo basin. This biome enriches with different kinds of flora and fauna. As far as flora is concerned, vines, creepers, epiphytic orchids, 
ferns, plum trees, etc. are found available in the rainforest biome and these biomes are divided into five vertical layers such as emergent trees, high upper canopy, low tree stratum, shrub understory and a ground layer of herbs and ferns. About 90% of all primate species live in the tropical forest of the world. Gorillas, chimpanzees, aquatic reptiles, chameleons and many species of birds are found in different tropical rainforests. Figure 3 shows the pictures of tropical rainforest in Amazon Basin, South America and Malaysia, Southeast Asia. Now, Savanna biome. This biome is characterized by usually warm temperature ranges from 25 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius and rainfall is 30 to 50 centimeter per year. It is located between the Tropic of Cancer to the north and Tropic of Capricorn to the south. Savannas are tropical grasslands with scattered drought resistant trees which generally do not exceed above 10 meters in height. It is an intermediate between a forest and a grassland. These biomes are mostly dominated by scattered individuals of Acacia and Eucalyptus. Savanna biomes are habitat of different kinds of fauna like lion, leopard, seta, hyena, zebras, African elephant, etc. The savanna grassland supports varieties of insects such as flies, grasshoppers, locusts, crickets, etc. The slide displays pictures of tropical savanna biome of Africa. Desert biome. Various definitions used to define desert ecosystems based on climate conditions and vegetation types. Temperature may range from very hot as in hot deserts to very cold as in cold deserts. Major hot deserts of the world are situated near the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn with a rainfall of less than 10 mm. Desert biome is located in North and South America, Africa, Asia and Australia. Among the deserts, the temperature of Sahara exceeds 50 degrees Celsius, whereas Antarctica is a cold desert below minus 80 degrees Celsius. Based on variation of climate, the plants like cactus, shrubs, prickly pear, palo veridi trees, shade bush, etc. are found to have grown in the desert biomes. Gila monster, roadrunner, coet, rattlesnakes, mule deer, bobcat, jackrabbit are some living species found in that biome. In this slide, figure A, B and C are picture of hot deserts of Sihuan Desert in Mexico, Great Victorian Desert in Australia and Dunes in the Saudi Arabian Desert. Now, temperate shrubland biome. Temperate shrublands are located in North and South America, South Africa, Australia, Central Chile and some parts around Mediterranean. These biomes are mostly covered with shrub plants having no central trunk. The height of these shrub plants ranges from 4.5 to 8 meter. Shrubland areas mostly have a Mediterranean climate with hot, dry in the summer and cool and moist in the winter. The average rainfall in between 200 to 1000 mm of per year. The predominant vegetation in this biome consists of grasses and shrubs. Since the climate of the biome is temperate and ranges from semi-arid to semi-humid, 
the plant species types differs from areas to areas. Oaks, sagebrush, manzanitas, California lilies, buckwheat, etc. are dominant plants in the biome. Temperate shrublands are habitat of various animals such as mule deer, coates, a variety of rodents, jack rabbits, and sage grouse, etc. Figure 6 are pictures of Mediterranean vegetation of the Western Cape region of South Africa and Mediterranean shrub vegetation of Southern California. Temperate forest biome. Temperate forest biomes are located in Europe, Eastern Asia, parts of North and South America, Central America, and Australia. Temperate forests are characterized as regions with high level of precipitation ranging from 75 to 150 cm annually. The temperature is moderate with 25 degrees Celsius during summers and 0 degrees Celsius in winters. A variety of deciduous trees are found available in these biomes. Broadleaf trees like oaks, maple, beeches, shrubs, perennial herbs, and mosses, etc. are dominant plants in temperate forest biomes. Temperate forests are home to a diverse wildlife biosystem including various insects and spiders, gray foxes, bears, deer, squirrels, lizards, snails, earthworms, etc. Please see the pictures of temperate forest of the Appalachian region during autumn and the picture B is the interior of the forest during the spring. The forest is dominated by oaks and yellow poplar with an understory of red bud in bloom. Grassland biome. Grassland biomes consist of large open areas of grasses. Grassland biomes are located in North America, Southern Russia, Africa, South America, Central Eurasia, Australia, and New Zealand. The temperature of these biomes is above 15 degrees Celsius annually, and the rainfall is between 250 to 800 millimeters a year. Grassland biomes are areas that are continuously dominated and covered by various grass species. This is usually the result of the adequate precipitation that helps to grow root plants like grasses. Grasses dominate temperate grasslands. Trees and large shrubs are rarely found in grassland areas. There are many species of grasses that live in the biome include purple needle grass, wild oats, foxtail, buffalo grass, pampas, velvet, steps, etc. The grasslands are habitat to many amazing animals. Various species of animals found available in the grassland areas of different regions, such as biscon, jackrabbits, golden eagles, coates are found in the grassland of North America. Elephants, giraffe, zebras, lions, mice, and golden squirrels live in the great African savanna grasslands. In Australia, there are kangaroos. Thus, the grasslands are a very important habitat where many animals live. Here, the two pictures displays North American grasslands. Now, coniferous forest biome. Coniferous forest is a kind of biome situated in temperate regions of the globe that experience warm summers and cool winters having sufficient rainfall to enable the forest grow. These forest biomes are mostly located in North America, Central Europe, Northern Japan, Asia, Central America. The average annual precipitation in coniferous forest biome ranges from 30 to 70 cm per year. Normally, 
coniferous rainforest are located at different elevations and in the Rocky Mountains. Average temperature of coniferous forest biome is 20 degrees Celsius in summer and minus 30 degrees Celsius in winters. Coniferous rainforest biome has diversity in regard to plant life. The dominant tree in this biome is conifer, which is a cone-bearing tree. Deciduous tree species like willow, oak, elder are found specifically in wet and troubled areas. Other species found in the biome are sprouts, subalpine fir, pines, sequoia, hemlocks, etc. Coniferous rainforest biome is a cold area which makes it hard for animals to survive. The animal population in the biomes are seed-eating jaws and squirrels, huge animals that feed on twigs, hair, deer, porcupines, barred owls, etc. Migratory birds flock this biome to feed the insects. Natural predators live here including wolves, grizzly bears, etc. Human habitation is also there in some parts of coniferous rainforest biomes. The picture in the slide shows cone-shaped like trees found available in the coniferous forest biome. Now, the last tundra biome. Tundra is the coldest of all the biomes. For most of the year, this biome remains cold frozen landscape. It has a short growing season and very difficult to grow and develop plants and animals. The location of the tundra biome found in northernmost and southernmost parts of the world where the temperature remains 10 degrees Celsius in summer and below minus 30 degrees Celsius in winters. The average rainfall in the biome is low and 20 to 60 centimeter per year. The word tundra meaning barren or treeless hill. The most distinct feature of these biomes are largely treeless. The tundra has patchy low to ground vegetation consisting of small shrubs, grasses, mosses, sedges, lichens, etc. and these are adapted to extreme conditions. Tundra wildlife includes small mammals, arctic hares, arctic ground squirrels, etc. This region is also habitat for large mammals such as wolves, caribou, polar bear, etc. These animals build up stores of fat to sustain and insulate them through the winter. Many birds also migrate into the tundra during the growing season to feed, mate, and nest. In this slide, figure 10A is a picture of Arctic tundra of Canada and B is Rocky Mountain Alpine tundra. Dear students, terrestrial ecosystem is a very big sector of ecology. To describe this sector within a limited time is very difficult. However, all efforts have been made to summarize the terrestrial ecosystem and a brief presentation is prepared to give you a comprehensive idea on the topic. In this connection, the suggested reading and references are showed in the slide. Hope you could learn something from the presentation. Thank you.